What's up guys? Welcome back to Men Cave Collectibles. Coming at you today with another figure review. Today we got a figure that I'm super excited about. This is a figure that I've been trying to locate on my toy hunts for weeks now and finally was able to pick it up on a really just a recent trip to Target. It wasn't necessarily a toy hunt, but I just lucked up. Really wasn't expecting to find this guy and it kind of given up and uh, was kind of weighing the options of getting him on eBay or Mercari. And uh, there you go. It kind of goes to show never give up on an action figure that you truly want. So I found him uh, along with some other figures in this same wave as well. We've got the uh, uh, Steve Austin uh, also and the Umaga. The Titus O'Neil I was not able to find. Uh, so we'll still be looking for him. But anyways, let's take a look at this figure. The packaging is typically what we get from the Elite Collection line. We got Royal Rumble, as this is based on his 1990 appearance at the Royal Rumble. Ultimate Warrior there at the bottom. True FX, lifelike details. And from what we can see here in the window packaging, it truly uh, is a phenomenal job they've done here on the sculpt work. Come around to the side, we've got an actual image of him from the Royal Rumble in 1990. And then on the back, just a little bit of a bio uh, about the Ultimate Warrior here. It says in a preview of a future Clash of the Titans, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan stood nose to nose in the 1990 Royal Rumble. If you've not seen the 1990 Royal Rumble or if it's been a while since you've seen it, I challenge you to go back and watch it. It is truly a classic. Uh, it's almost like a Royal Rumble of Hall of Famers. Uh, and there is a moment in there where it is just the Ultimate Warrior and Hogan facing off one-on-one -on -one for a period of time before the next entrant enters the ring. Down at the bottom here, we do have the other figures that we talked about in this line, and then just a close-up here of the Ultimate Warrior. Let's go ahead and crack this guy out of his packaging and see what we got. All right, guys, we got the Ultimate Warrior out of his packaging and onto our view table. As always, let's jump straight into the accessories for this guy. So the first thing, and he actually comes wearing this in package, is he gets his Intercontinental Championship belt in yellow pretty cool looks really good the uh, detail the you know the etching work uh, the sculpt work here is done really really nicely the paint work is done really well got a little bit of blue there on uh, the planet uh, that's engraved there just a soft plastic as you can imagine continuing on now this is a very integral part of this figure because uh, this is actually Kind of how the Ultimate Warrior ended up looking. If you go back and watch uh, the 1990 Royal Rumble, uh, within just a few minutes of him entering the ring, uh, what we see here, as far as his face paint, uh, was no longer. And this is what we were seeing. So really cool that they added that detail in. And if you go back and look, the, the way they have this face paint done here, uh, as far as you know being worn off, it is super, super similar to what we actually saw uh, you know, in the ring uh, for his 1990 Royal Rumble. So really nice. Pretty much looks like the same face sculpt. There's really no change. It's just kind of that stoic face, same stoic face that he has here, uh, same hair sculpt, but just the uh, worn paint there for him. And then we get two kind of holding hands as, as we like to refer to them as. Uh, you know, this is something if you want him to be holding his belt versus wearing it, uh, you know, you could use them for that. Uh, otherwise, straight out of package, he just comes with two hands uh, that are kind of already in a close fist. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy so you guys can see here. Uh, you know, and as you could see uh, from when we were looking at the accessories earlier, the, the face expressions are pretty much identical. I can't tell that there's really any difference in the two head sculpts. Pretty much looks like the hair, everything's the same. They just kind of wore his face paint off some there on the additional head. But yeah, everything else looks good. Got those tassels that we would kind of come to expect. Moving on around the body here. Got his logo here on the backside of his outfit. Looks good. Coming on down, we get to those knee pads and boots with the logoing all over them. Paint work is really, really well done on everything here. Real nice, crisp, clean paint work, which we love. But yeah, that head sculpt, man, I just can't get over that. Now, for me personally, I kind of wish, you know, one of the head sculpts they would have given us maybe like a screaming head or a yelling head. I think that would have been cool. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure that's something uh, that we've gotten before or will get in the future. Now, just taking a quick look at articulation on this guy. 
we can uh, get that head down to about right there. We're limited as far as up because of the hair. It is just a hard plastic. As far as these shoulders, we can get them up to about right there with really no stress. That's as far down as we can go. Just because of the bulk of this guy, you know, the traps in here uh, that he has, the bicep bands, kind of all that incorporated together. Uh, you know, really is going to make him pretty much stand with his arms out like that for uh, for the pose. Uh, so that's that's as far in as you're going to be able to get it. We do have a cut at the biceps, single jointed elbows there. Plenty of movement back and forth here in the wrist, just on a peg there. Looks good. Lots of ab crunch there, and then we've got a cut right at the bottom of the abs. Get those legs out to about right there comfortably cut in the upper thigh, which is nice. We do have double jointed knees. They're slightly hindered by the uh, knee brace, or I'm sorry, the knee pads there. A little bit of a cut there at the top of the boot, but it is hindered because of the boot. So that's about as far as I can get it. I can't get a full 360 on it. Plenty of forward back and not much ankle rocker in there. It, it Maybe slightly, but not, not much uh, ankle rocker. All right, and just real quickly, guys, here he is with the alternate head sculpt as well as his Intercontinental Championship belt around his waist. So looks really good. You know, this is probably the way uh, I may pose him, you know, on my shelf. I like this look here, uh, especially being we're going to get, uh, you know, another Ultimate Warrior from Ringside Collectibles as an exclusive that I do have on pre-order. So we'll have that one as well. So it may be cool to have one where the face paint is kind of rubbed off. I think that's a neat look. Now let's bring in a few other figures for size comparison and we'll wrap up our video. All right, guys, and just a little bit of size comparison here. We've got our ultimate Hollywood Hulk Hogan. We've got two of our basic figures. It's the uh, WrestleMania with the ring cart figures. So it's Andre the Giant and Macho Man. Just for you guys to kind of see size comparison wise, I think this guy stands perfect in his size here. Uh, if you go back and look, he was just slightly shorter than Hulk Hogan was. So yeah, just phenomenally done figure here, guys. I hope everybody's able to get their hands on it that wants it. Just, it took me a while. So be patient, keep hunting. Uh, I know here on the East Coast, uh, maybe they're just now hitting because I've only seen it one time in the last month, month and a half. So uh, definitely keep your eyes open. Drop in the comments what you guys think of this figure. Have you found it? Is it something you're even wanting? I know there's been a lot of Ultimate Warrior figures put out so for a lot of you wrestling fans, is this something you want? Uh, or, you know, are you kind of maxed out on your Ultimate Warrior figures? I, in my opinion, how can you ever have too many Ultimate Warriors? But that's just my opinion. Hit that like button, guys. It helps get this video out there for other people to be able to see. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. Until next time.